It's a new riff on an old tradition. You can get in the holiday spirit with spirits from New Riff Distilling. Katie Tobin joins me from Newport. She is the brand ambassador. Hi, Katie. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. So tell us about New Riff Distilling and how it's different. Absolutely. So you said it best, a new riff on an old tradition. We're not doing anything new per se as far as how we make the whiskey. The process is very much the you know old tradition. We can put our own kind of spin on it. So if you think of a guitar riff where they're you know, our logo's right behind us. We always kind of say that alludes to a musical note. Some people say the fact that we've got the river splitting us between Cincinnati and Kentucky, um, but it's very musically based. So if you think about Jimi Hendrix playing the Star Spangled Banner, you know, he's, it's the same notable song. He's just playing it in his own way. So he's putting a riff on it. So we kind of like to say that we do that here. If you look at our staff, you know, everyone that's making whiskey right now, and we're, we're crushing it, everyone that's making whiskey down there has never made a drop of whiskey in their life. Um, I run the cocktail program. I used to drive a forklift and I have an art degree, you know, it's, um, it's bringing a lot of fresh new ideas and taking these, you know, age old traditions and putting our own kind of riff on it. So, and you're putting your own riff on a holiday drink. So what cocktail are you yeah. serving up for us today? Yeah. So I'm going to talk about two and these are both available. Um, they're super easy to batch too, which is a great thing right now. Everything's so up in the air. I mean, with us, with businesses, with people trying to celebrate for the holidays, so these are great options. You can make them at home. You can batch them. You can even small portion them in bottles and drop them off at people's houses. So the first one is what we call like a dump and go punch. It's really easy. You don't need to measure anything. It's an awesome recipe. So this actually um, is using our bottled and bond bourbon. We're going to do a full bottle. I've already made it in here. So it's a full bottle of our bourbon. We have a full bottle of cranberry juice, about a half a bottle. This is Tarani. If you guys are familiar with this, you'll see it behind any barista, cafe, anything. They're great syrups. So this is a brown sugar cinnamon. We're going to do about a half a bottle of that. If you like it really sweet, go ahead, dump the whole thing in. And then one of these, you'll remember these from childhood, the Minute Maid Lemonade Concentrates. Oh, wow. Just dump it in there. Super easy. Mix it all up and this will hold forever because, you know, it's got booze and juice in it, basically. Put it in the fridge and I've got some fresh uh, lemon and orange slices in there floating tastes like Christmas in a glass. And then uh, we have people actually top it with ginger beer. Super delicious. So that's a cute way to kind of package it up individually in a bottle with a little can of ginger beer, a bottle of ginger beer. Um, that's a really easy one. Again, no measuring. So we'll have that recipe for you as well. And then the other one I am going to do, I'm super excited about, it's a uh, bourbon hot chocolate. Oh. So this one, I've got all my stuff already measured out. Um, this is also going to use our um, bottled and bond bourbon. So I'm going to add one ounce of bourbon. And this, you can do it, I'm going to do it on a stove top because I think it's a little bit more exciting for TV. You know, it's not as sexy to use a microwave. You can by all means use a microwave. Um, so we've got nobody, you know, not everyone has a portable little accessory like this. And then I'm going to do an ounce and a half of our bourbon cream. If you guys don't know what bourbon cream is, get on board. It's good stuff. A lot of the distilleries are making it. It's kind of like a Bailey's, but instead of the chocolate flavor and uh, the Irish whiskey, we use Kentucky, you know, straight whiskey. So we're going to do an ounce and a half of that. And our bourbon cream is also available as a to-go cocktail too, which is great. And that keeps in the fridge for a long time. Actually going to do an ounce of water just to kind of thin this out a little bit so it's not so intensely rich. Then we're going to do nothing fancy here, Hershey's chocolate syrup. It's great stuff. You know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So this is the only thing I didn't put in bottles because it's not, you know, going to be easy to get out of one. So I'm going to do an ounce and a half of that. I actually tried this recipe initially with a really expensive high-end like Ghirardelli dark chocolate and I was like no nope, need I don't believe it yeah <laughs> <laughs> I went back to the good old stuff we all know and love so ounce and a half of that and then I'm going to use so this is kind of a again a riff on a bourbon hot chocolate it's not just bourbon and hot chocolate we've got bourbon cream in there as well I'm also going to play on a cherry flavor in there which I think pairs really nicely and it's not something expected in a hot chocolate so I've actually got you guys are familiar with this, Luxardo cherries. These will destroy you and you will never eat any other cherries ever again. They're the best thing out there. Chewy, it's got all that nice um, juice in there. So I'm actually going to use that. I've got about a, a half ounce of that. Okay. Put that right in there. And then one of my favorite things to have in my back pocket when I do any kind of cocktails are bitters. So these are just aromatics. They add a little bit of flavor. It's a, it's a bitter flavor, but that's why you use it in a dropper. So I'm actually going to do cherry and chocolate in there. Okay. Just about one big dash. 
both of those. And then these are nice. This heats up really quickly. Turn on my little burner. And you can make that entire thing in the microwave? Yeah, just throw it all in a mug. That's the easiest part. You know, you have to have the bourbon cream. You have, you have to have the ingredients, but, yep. you know. And you can play with it. If there's um, an eggnog that you really, really like, I mean, anything. That's the fun part about cocktails. Once you get that formula, those building blocks, you can plug and play. You know, if you want to use black walnut bitters, vanilla bitters, um, anything like that. If you want to try it with Irish whiskey, you know, I've never had a vodka hot chocolate, but I'm sure it'd be good. Um, we're in Kentucky. We drink whiskey. So. so this is actually probably almost hot. And so the other exciting part about this cocktail is uh, we're now offering it with um, we've actually partnered with some of our favorite people, City Bonfire. So these are really cute. That's what I've actually got burning right in front of me. Um, I touch it, but it's very hot. So we're selling this. You can either just buy the cocktail or just buy the kit. But um, they do these really cute little fire starter s'mores packages. So you just light this, and it's got a really long burn time. And then it comes with a chocolate bar and these really nice um, kind of artisanal marshmallows, graham crackers. And you can actually roast s'mores, drink your hot chocolate over a little fire. So for people celebrating outdoors now, that's a really nice option. So this looks hot enough. Let's turn this off real quick. Let's try and kind of gracefully, we'll see how we do. Couldn't do that again if I tried. And then obviously Such people could- bourbon hot chocolate. Yeah, and then people could just, you know, double that or triple it depending on how many they want to make and make it all exactly. at once. Exactly. Yep, yep. And there are actually, there's a great tool. I learned how to do it the, the old way and that's kind of how I'm stuck in my ways where I batch it out, you know, I'll write things down. It looks like, um, just crazy stuff on a paper, but there's actually little websites that will, you can put in portions and just be like, I want 36 of these. And they'll go ahead and batch out the ingredients for you. Okay, great. And we remind people to celebrate responsibly. Katie, Absolutely. thank you so much. Happy holidays. New Rift Distilling in Newport. Yeah. Thank you.